I'm Derek Hankerson with FirstCoast.tv. This morning, I'm in downtown St. Augustine at the Flagler College Gymnasium with Bill Korak. Bill is the chairman of the St. Johns County Republican Executive Committee. Bill, what is the state of affairs with the Republican Party in St. Johns County? Well, the Republican Party is very healthy. In fact, I'd say that uh, this is the most Republican of all the counties in the state of Florida. Agreed. We have 85,000 registered Republicans. It's about double the number of Democrats in town. And in terms of overall Republicans, we're in the top 20 of the states in, in Florida. And uh, we're, we're a strong anti-tax small government organization. Uh, we are the party in the county. And uh, we're, we're seeing strong growth. That's excellent. If you want to win any office in Florida statewide office or presidential office, you have to win St. John's County. It's just that simple. It is. And, and we, we also have some of the t highest voter turnouts in the state. Um, as you know, downstate. For the example. Well, in the last, the last election, we had 81% turnout. And in, in uh, Precinct 308, which is where I happen to live, we had, uh, we had an 89% turnout. So that can make a big difference in the final tally when, when thousands of votes really count. St. John's County has <clears throat> had a history of bringing in nationally known guests. A number of years ago, we had presidential candidate Mitt Romney. What's on the horizon for this year with reference to presidential candidates coming to St. John's County? Well, St. John's County is, uh, is a bedroom community of Jacksonville, but it's also a strong cultural center on its own, and it's a strong agricultural county. Uh, we have the top schools in the state of Florida by score, and, and so candidates want to come here. It's an important place, and we have Flagler College. And, uh, and of course, here we are staying in front of the Flagler Gym, where uh, this month, in, in uh, less than two weeks, we're welcoming Governor Perry from Texas. Uh, we plan to have a public forum here at uh, the gym, and we have ample seating, and there's no charge. It's free. Um, we just like you to go and register. Uh, go to the uh, go to our website, uh, sjgop.org, and just sign in. But the tickets are free, and then afterwards we're going to have an old-fashioned barbecue at the St. Augustine Gun Club, where uh, everyone will have a chance to hear and meet Governor Perry. That's a boots and jeans barbecue, correct? It's a real boots and jeans barbecue with some of the best barbecue. We're having uh, pulled pork. Yes. And we're having uh, brisket that is so tender you can cut it with a fork. And then you get you get uh, you get pumped up and hear a, a great American talk about uh, the party. Well, we're definitely looking <clears throat> forward to that. Thank you so much, Bill. And you want to tell the audience the date for the event with Governor Perry here at the Flagler College Gymnasium? It's on May 14th, Thursday, May 14th, here at the Flagler Gym at 530. And if you forget to register, just show up. We'll be glad to see you. And then the barbecue takes place at uh, 7 o'clock after the talk up at the St. Augustine Gun Club. So we're looking forward to seeing Lots of Republicans there. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Derek.